Here's my routine for healthy, clear skin. Let's go! It all starts with water. Lukewarm temperature is all it takes. Too hot and it will dry your skin, too cold and it will constrict your pores, not allowing it to be cleansed deep enough. Now I like to relax into the morning just by letting my flannel rest over my face to gently open up the pores. <sighs> Remember, you can use your flannel to gently exfoliate your lips. Cleansing time! I've been using this cleanser for over a year and it's the bomb. Most people apply the cleanser directly to the face. The key is to soak your hands first, then add the cleanser. Lather until it gets really foamed up. This added oxygen helps your cleanser deep clean your skin better. Take your time as well, and if you can, massage lightly for one minute. Take this opportunity to give yourself a nice facial massage for better blood circulation. Get your fists out and roll in circular motions to depuff the face. Very handy if you've eaten food that's high in MSG the night before. This one's a very good one if you want a V-shaped face. Next, rinse. As you can guess, take your time. Try to rinse for at least 30 seconds. No, seriously, just by doing these steps alone, you will see changes to your skin. Serum is important. While moisturizer steals moisture on the surface, serum penetrates deep into the skin. I'm using my custom daily dose serum from Skinnick to combat my skin's fatigue. You see the little balls? They're actually the active ingredients being encapsulated so it stays fresher for longer. I like to pat the face for better absorption and then using spiritual fingers to stimulate the blood flow. Now this one I call dead fingers which really helps with the puffiness in the morning. Eye serum because the skin underneath the eyes is so thin it requires extra attention. You guys know I swear by my facial oil but sometimes it's a bit too dewy for daytime. So I use my Tatcha Silk Cream. It's the only moisturizer I use aside from facial oil. It's amazing. Plumps up the driest of skin. Final step, eye cream. And you want to massage outwards to help to drain the puffy eyes. Although I kind of think my eyes are a lost cause. Do you know that not removing your eye makeup properly results in it seeping deep into the eyes, showing behind the skin to give us dark circles? I swear by my vanilla and coke clean and zero. It looks like gel, but it dissolves into oil, and I simply just lightly massage around my eyes to loosen up the toughest of makeup. Then take a damp cotton pad and lightly swipe. No rubbing required, no stingy sensation. Too easy. Makeup just slides right off. It's not just clean, it's clean. There's no point buying expensive products if your makeup isn't cleansed properly. I swear by cleansing oil. To me, makeup isn't fully removed without it. This is how I wind down after a long day. I really seize this opportunity when I'm removing my makeup. Don't see it as a chore. See it as an opportunity to relax. Soak the hands and then massage again to emulsify the cleansing oil. Rinse away baby, but like I said, remember to take your time. My nighttime routine is pretty similar to my daytime routine, except I switch my silk cream for my facial oil. Rosehip oil is filled with antioxidants and I love it because I can really feel my skin plumping and drinking from within. And the thing is, my skin actually feels even better the next morning. Who said treatments have to be expensive? If you guys are worried about facial oil making your skin appear oily, then simply just use it at night. Before bedtime, I apply a thick layer of lip balm and the best lip balm in the world is... Lansino, yes, it's for crack nipples, but if it's good enough for the nips, it's good enough for the lips, trust me. When you know your skin is thoroughly cleansed and nourished, you know you will sleep better. Lastly, let's talk about beauty treatment. I swear by my optimizer voice trilet because it really works. The red light helps to renew and repair skin cells, stimulating production of collagen and elastin. The blue light is antibacterial. It helps to unclog and calm congested skin, and yellow light brightens. Now, I like to just use this with my facial oil, but you can use this with anything to help it glide better on your face. And my favorite light is a red light because most skin issues derive from dehydrated skin. I use it by starting at the center of my chin, moving up and outwards, and my face always feels so much more toned afterwards. If you have very heavy expression lines, then you want to apply it in a C shape. As a busy working mummy, this device has been a lifesaver. In just 10 minutes, I get spa-like results. 
whenever I'm approaching this certain time of the month, I shine the blue light on areas of my face prone to hormonal acne. Oh geez, my eyes need lots of yellow light. I was once very skeptical about this device, but I was pleasantly surprised. It really works. If I've been wearing makeup for long periods of the day or if I've been out in congested places, I like to use oxygen masks. This one looks like a gel, but once massaged into the face, it bubbles in several seconds, and you could feel the skin tingling from within. After washing it off, skin feels clean. Whenever my skin is oily or breaking out, I use a clay mask to help draw the excess oil and sebum out of my pores. This one is a mousse clay mask, which is pretty cool. Exfoliation is very important. It prevents the skin from looking dull and helps the products absorb better. Now for a physical exfoliator, it works by removing the dead skin cells through a bead or some sort of green. Chemical exfoliator wise, this gel one is pretty cool. As you can see, it applies a gel, but as soon as you start massaging, white particles appear. And as gross as it sounds, it's your dead skin cells. It's so satisfying. Hello fresh young skin! Now I like to exfoliate at least twice a week and usually right afterwards I indulge in a nice mask since skin absorbs best. And that's all folks, I hope you guys enjoyed my updated skin routine. Thank you so much for watching, take care of your skin and take care in general. Love you guys, bye!